Hi, my name is Lee Lazaro and I am the IBM Planning Analytics Practice Lead at Revelwood. Today I'm going to show you how to create cell security in PAW. The first thing that we need to do for creating cell security is determine which cube that we want to define. So what I have on the screen right now is I have a list of the cubes within my model. And the way that we create cell security is we simply determine which cube are we using. Today I'm going to create security for the revenue cube. And all I'm going to do is right click on that. When I right click on it, the menu that appears gives me a series of options, including one that says create cell security. So I'm going to click on the option for create cell security and a pop-up window is going to appear. And what this pop-up window is going to do is it's going to allow us to determine which dimensions do we want to use for cell security. The great thing about PAW is even though I have a lot of dimensions within my cube, I only need to define two of them to define cell security. So instead of all the possible combinations, 10 scenarios, 100 products, 1,000 regions, and I have to figure out all my intersections of X times Y times Z, I could simplify my cell security by saying, I really only care about a, a small portion of it. So in this particular case, I'm just gonna take the first two dimensions. I'm gonna say I'm gonna define my security by scenario and by product. And as soon as I click that second option, I now have the opportunity to create a cell security cube. Creating the cell security is as simple as defining the two pieces, click on create, and then within my PAW workbench, two windows are gonna appear. The first window that I default into is going to bring me into a view, and that view is the equivalent of the control cube that you may be aware of, the cell security underscore cube. So in this particular case, you could see that it's a view of cell security underscore name of the cube, BPM revenue. And if I want to manually define security, what I could do is I could simply go into a value and input it. Now in this particular case, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna bring my scenarios down, I'm gonna pivot it a little bit, and therefore now I have my products up and down, my scenarios left and right, and I'm defining it for one specific user. If I want to define a set of security within plan, I could simply go to one of the intersections, I'm just gonna click on the cell, I'm gonna click on the pencil, and I'll have a drop down, similar in nature to a pick list and I can define my security by simply clicking on something. I'll click on right. I've just defined security. But what I also have the ability to do, and what we often did in the legacy tool set is, based on all the possible combinations, instead of creating security manually, we often do it as a rule. And that's where the other tab comes into play. The other tab is the rule editor that will allow us to create security. So for this particular case, I'm gonna create a real simple rule. I'm simply just gonna put in actuals. I'm then gonna say equals S colon, right. And I've just created a real simple rule. When I save that rule, that rule then gets processed into the cube that we had before. So that next time I come in, when I refresh it, you're gonna see the security has been created. This gives us the opportunity to create a cell security cube with as many dimensions that we do or don't want to include, to manually manipulate some of the security, to automate some of the security, and define some of the security. Okay? From there, if we decide in the future that we don't want to have the cell security or that we want to change it, the modification is as simple as right-clicking again, and now we have the option to edit cell security. We can edit either the rule or the security, depending on if we wanted to automate it or if we wanted to define cell by cell. And then we can also delete the entire piece. I hope you learned something new about cell security today. If you have any questions about security or anything associated with planning analytics, please contact us at info at revelwood.com.